I'll never forget the Roy that Jones one. card. Yeah, I'll never forget that one. Brought to you in association with Corona Extra and HBO Pay-Per-View, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Skip Avancino Jr., Executive Director Mark Ratner. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be Chuck Jampa, Dave Moretti, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, official weight, 130 pounds. Professional record, 47 victories, including 34 KOs with only two defeats. Thomas y Caballeros, De la zona norte, Tijuana, Mexico, the three-time world champion, Eric El Terrible Morales. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red. Official weight, 129 and one half pounds. Professional record, 39 victories, including 30 knockouts, with only two defeats and two bouts even. From General Santos City, the Philippines, the three-time champion of the world, Manny. The noise deafening in here. Final instructions. All right, coming. gentlemen, we want all the rules in that dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Quiero una pelea limpia. Ya le arreglan camerino. Trunks here. It's a little high. Yours are a little high, too. Punches here are still good. They're not for the LEP. I want a good, clean fight. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. I don't know who the vendor was that sold all the Philippine flags, but he's rich tonight. He's made a killing. They are fired up at the MGM Grand tonight. As well as should be. This should be a fight for the ages. So sit back and enjoy 12 rounds. A super featherweight action. Don't blink. Pac-Man is always dangerous with any single punch. Pac-Man usually starts fast. Last time we saw him, he knocked Juan Manuel Marquez down three times in the first round. Left-hander, powerful, fast. I'm Alan Massengale along with Mario Lopez and Rich Morata, ringside in Las Vegas. We're glad you're here. Round one, Morales in the white trunks, Benny Pacquiao in the fire-breathing trunks. It was less than two years ago, I'll never forget it, Freddie Roach came to me on the day of a big fight card, the trainer of Manny Pacquiao, he said, hey Rich, I just got a fighter, he's fighting here tonight, I want you to watch him, Manny Pacquiao, he's the underdog in this fight, but I think he'll do pretty good, he was fighting Lelo Ledwaba for the title, not only did he do pretty good, but he amazed everyone, winning the championship over a very, very good fighter, boy was Freddie Roach right about that. And Freddie's one of the great trainers in the game, trains James Tony, Manny Pacquiao, had over 21 world champions. Manny fires the left. He's been working behind the jab, but he fired that left. Both of these fighters are used to dictating their pace and coming forward. Morales definitely being smart, definitely being conservative. Apparently has watched the Marquez fight a few times. Well, Morales has boxing skills. Uh, he doesn't always display them necessarily, but that was usually in the emotional fights with Barrera. But if you look at his other fights with uh, uh, Pauli Ayala, for example, highly he skilled, massive uh, skills. Pacquiao the attack and a taste of the Pacquiao power. Throw the big left hand. Oh, oh Morales coming back. Coming back. Oh, oh, oh. Morales. 
Cena's fired up. Machismo with both men. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so much for feeling each other out, huh? Uh, I believe we've had spontaneous combustion here. Morales, power the attack. Manny says, bring it on. These are two very proud warriors in the ring. Now, how do you score this round? <laughs> they, they both get a 10-8. Even so far. <laughs> Good punch, the Pacquiao. Morales takes it. It's the straight left, which is the big Pacquiao punch. Pacquiao wants to attack. Morales goes to the body. Pacquiao darts in and out, darts in and out, and he's so fast with his hand speed, by the time you try to defend it, he's already got more punches coming at you. Morales covering up, and he fires a left hand. Not the kind of fight Morales wanted this quick, but he's got it. Final 10 seconds of round one, what a round is there. Across with a big smile on his face. How'd you like that one? <laughs> wow. That was a firecracker, wasn't it? Just adds to the whole night, gentlemen. That's Great night of fighting. Let's look at that scorching action in the first round. Pacquiao on the attack, landed some big shots. Morales took them. We told you that he was going to have to weather the storm, and he did and came bouncing back. He caught Pacquiao up in the ropes. Amazing hands up. Okay, son. I thought Pacquiao's punches had a slightly greater effect in the first round than did uh, Morales' big shot. He definitely has a firepower, pa firepower, but you can also see Morales being Here we go, the heavier-handed of the two as far as being in the natural weight class. Manny Pacquiao's in the fire-breathing trunks. Morales in his usual white trunks. Round two. Maybe they'll start fighting in round two, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> Here comes Pacquiao doing his thing. Morales started very slowly in the Barrera fight. He just wasn't there on the first three rounds of his fight, that last fight. But he is forced into a situation where he has to wake up early here. Well, he had to know Pacquiao was going to come out strong like this, and he's usually a slow starter in most of his fights. But boy, he turns it on middle to end. Good left hand for Pacquiao right there. Now, Morales could take a punch with the best of them. Well, he's only been down one time, that in the first fight with Marco Antonio Barrera, and most feel that that was not a legitimate knockdown anyway. Now he's on the attack using the left hand. Pulls back the right hand, that throws it. Manny says, bring it on. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, you won't see, you won't see that kind of emotion from Eric Morales. But he does get fired up. Oh, We've he does. Go to wars. He's a true student of the game, and like Rich mentioned, very, very skillful. But when he wants to turn it into a slugfest, it's all action. Well, his game plan will be to counter some of those wild shots that Manny's throwing. That's got Manny going backwards. Pacquiao up on his toes. Freddie Roach told him to keep his hands up. And Morales, naturally, the bigger fighter of the two. I I'm not sure I've ever heard a crowd that is so evenly divided as, like as this one is here you're right, tonight. Rich. It's unbelievable, which means you're going to have constant noise for one or the other guy. <laughs> About a minute to go in the second round. They tapered off just a little bit in round two, but not much. You know Manny's going to come. Well, they had a clash of heads, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, Morales does a good job with that left hand keeping Manny at bay. But he wants to land that straight right. I'll tell you what, if he can weather the storm these first few rounds, he could be very effective with that right hand later on. He's doing a good job when, when the rush comes. Oh, just missing with the right. Manny throwing big punches. Most of those missed, though. Good defense by Morales. I think Eric settled into this fight real quick. I don't think he, I don't think he was messing around anymore. 
You're right, and he's not intimidated, Alan. He's no. not intimidated by his... It's too good to be intimidated. He's been through too much. And man, he's not intimidated because he's just a feisty character. He's just a natural born warrior. Oh, and that was a big right hand, Eric Landry. Much better round for Eric Morales. Yes. That round than was the first. And Morales, as we oh, listen to Freddie Roach here, Morales is boxing well. Let's take a look at the action. Better round for Morales coming in, being the more aggressive fighter. At times getting Pacquiao backing up. Pacquiao doesn't want that. He wants to be the man coming forward. Do you see that good right hand? Guys, I thought that Morales fought that second round much the way that he was fighting Barrera in the second fight when he boxed and moved, fought a more scientific fight in that uh, of, of the three fights. He, he applied those principles in round two. You no, know, you're right, Rich. And the problem is Pacquiao can keep up this pace all night. So it could come down very well to the last round. Round three, Manny Pacquiao, the pride of the Philippines, in the red trunks. Aaron Morales in his usual white trunks, the pride of Tijuana Norte. From the toughest section of Tijuana, born in a gym. <laughs> That's right. God, we, I grew up in Chula Vista, which is the border town of Tijuana. And I'll tell you what, you don't want to get lost in his neighborhood in the middle of the night. Well, I sure, but he drives around in, with impunity. Nobody messes with Eric Morales down he's a, there. He's a god down there. And both are lords of the ring tonight. I thought Pacquiao won the first round. I thought Morales applying those, as I said, those same kind of principles that he fought Barrera in round two, or rather the second fight of their trilogy, won round two. I agree with you. I have it one round apiece. And ironically, the best fight he fought against Pereira was that second one, and the judges were against him. And I thought he won it. So those debates will go on forever. Good right hand from Morales. That back Good left Pacquiao. hand. Pacquiao looking to throw that left hand. Now they're fighting Pacquiao's type of fight. Morales has showed really good defense. Picking off some of those big punches that coming back on the counter. You guys get the feeling somebody might hit the deck in this fight. It's just a matter of time. It's like a time bomb waiting to go off. Round like, three. Like I was mentioning earlier, Rich, Morales is being very careful and very smart with his punches, but Pacquiao can keep up his pace all night, and he has to exchange with them if he, if he plans to win at least by on the scorecards. Well, you, you know, he might be able to win fighting Pacquiao's fight. We don't know that. But Morales might be able to slug with him and win. But he had an outstanding cap at Eric Morales, an outstanding training camp. He didn't have any extra people around, no big entourage. We'll see if he can weather this now. A lot of those punches, there was only two or three maybe solid blows. Yeah, Manny, Morales is using great movement, guys. And now he's back on the attack, using his left hand, and coming back with oh, the Oh, coming hands. back strong. Back out throwing punches. Morales has never faced hand speed like this. Pacquiao's definitely the fastest fighter that he's faced. Uppercut. Pacquiao's never faced a fighter with all these weapons either. Everybody's on their feet here. <laughs> Final seconds of round three. Oh, Morales tried to just tee off with that one. He set him up with the left hand and threw that right. Wow. What a tough round to call. This is as fine a night of a boxing card as I've ever seen. Oi, oi. Que busca? Que busca? We're asking him, what are you looking for, Eric? What are you looking for?
asking him, what are you looking for, Eric? What are you looking for? They're telling Eric that he's doing really well in there. He's just got to throw the right hand more. But what are you looking for? All right, let's look at the replay now of the action. Both men had their moments in this third round. Morales at long range landing that uh, sneaky left hand. Pacquiao answered back. There's no question about it. Here he comes with the, he starts those flurries. Left, right, left, right. He throws them a little bit wide. Morales using the right, head there. Go. He got Pacquiao going backwards. I'll tell you, tremendous, unbelievable action. This is a tough round. Tough fight to call, gentlemen. Round four. These people paid a lot of money for these seats, but not a lot of them are using them. They're all getting up during the rounds, and I don't blame them. Yeah, and both sides. <laughs> Chance of Manny, Manny. They'll come back with El Terrible on the other side. <laughs> Round four. It's been action packed as we expected it would be. How many wars has Eric Morales been in? Countless. And all against world class caliber competition. Manny able to step out of that. Rounds flying by. We're round four already. Morales gets Manny to go backwards. What's really amazing about Morales, despite those wars, good right hand. Nice counter right hook. Nice counter right for Morales. He raises his arms. He senses something. He senses something. Manny on his bicycle. He comes back throwing. He's like the Energizer Bunny, I tell you. Two great warriors. You see, Eric is fighting a very scientific fight here. He's really fighting very smart. Very smart. But it's what we said. He, he's got these skills. He doesn't always showcase them. One of the most complete packages in the history of the sport. And Eric Morales. But you got such a difficult fighter in front of you in that he's got great footwork, tremendous hand speed, a lot of power, and he's a southpaw. Morales using all of the ring. He's fighting real smart here in this round. He's had Manny on the, on the retreat at the most. Oh! Morales unloading now, and Manny says, no big deal. The problem for Manny is he's been going backwards. He can survive those onslaughts, but you're not going to win the round. That's exactly right. He expected more of Manny coming forward than Morales, but it's Morales on the stalking. Morales trying to pot, I mean, excuse me, Pacquiao trying to pot shot him here, moving and just popping one at a time. I thought that was a much better round for Eric Morales. I've had them alternating rounds so far. I've got it all even, gentlemen, in two rounds each. And that's what I've got. Situation. Same scenario. Counter right by now. Morales did have some moments with Pacquiao up against the ropes, but Pacquiao wheeled out of there nicely to get out of trouble. Again, impossible to tip which way this is going to go. Hard to believe, but Pacquiao has only fought 12 rounds one time, which could be a factor as it goes later on into the fight. Well, he fought the 12 against Marquez. And that was a grueling fight. Had it not been for Barrera and Morales last year, Marquez Pacquiao would have been fight of the year. Mm -hmm. It came in second in all the balloting. Okay, round five. 
130 pound championship. Man, he's been a little bit surprising going backwards to me. For good up. Oh, get caught with a nice uppercut. And he had to shake the cobwebs out after that one. Morales has every punch in the business. Manny will come back answering with three, four, five punch combinations. I think that that uppercut from Morales could be a real definitive punch tonight. Sometimes you just got to rip it right up the middle, Rich. When you got a guy coming at you with open arms. And it doesn't matter how many punches you throw in those combinations, it's how many that land. And Morales is doing a beautiful job of defending a lot of them. Back out digging to the body. Some holding going on. Joe Cortez warning him to stop, stop that business. We don't want to see a clash of heads here. We're in round five. Morales sticking that jab out there, measuring the distance. Man, he's so quick. He's got great defense. What a matchup. He's elusive, Allen. He darts in and out. Look out for that uppercut. Morales yeah. just landed it. Pacquiao felt it. We got some blood for Pacquiao. Pacquiao's cut in his right eye. Bad. And it's a bad cut. All right, all right, all right. We're going to have the uh, doctor take help. a look at it. Yeah. They've been coming close, clashing heads all night. And it looks like one of the headbutts finally caught him. Well, we go to the scorecards after four rounds, Rich. That, that, that came from a punch. Yeah. Joe okay, Cortez says it came from a punch. Uh, if they stop the fight, Morales would be a TKO winner. He called it a punch. He called it a punch, no headbutt. That's okay. a bad gash. Okay. He's going to let him go, but Pacquiao looks kind of a he little looks, out of it. He does. He definitely looks a little woozy, and that's above the eye. Blood will trickle into that eye. And Morales is a master of taking advantage of such situations like this. The Mexican contingent in here is not happy. Look at that bruising under the eye. Wow. The, Ma the Mexican contingent here is not happy that Manny's getting this much time to recover, although he's beaten up pretty badly. I tell you, Eric Morales is a dangerous man when he counters you. And a great finisher, Alan. See, Manny's got to shake this off. We've talked about it a million times how a fighter reacts to a cut. Beautiful right hook by Morales. Morales already having a big round. Fighting very smartly here. Manny's trying to do his Manny thing. Yeah, but and Morales has got to realize that the Pacquiao's going to fight out of a sense of desperation here, and he's going to have to be ready for that. But if that blood starts coming down into the eye, Pacquiao's going to be in deep trouble. And Morales doing a great job of just jabbing at it, jabbing at it. That's right. He's just firing the jab away because Morales is smart. He knows what he's got there now. Man, he's in a bit of trouble. Can't see out of that eye too well. So Morales is going to look for that jab on that eye. There he throws it out there. Pacquiao seems a little discouraged going back to his corner. They're asking Manny to calm down in the corner. That's a deep cut. All right, now here. You need to take you to this guy, okay? All right, back him up with a combination. You heard him coming in here with that. All right, let's take a look now. We can see there's the right hand, and then they do bang heads. Contrary to what Joe Cortez said, that was definitely a headbutt. There was be sure. You can't be sure. But, it, but it's a very significant distinction. And a very significant decision by, by Joe, Joe Cortez. Cortez. Yes. Who does not have a replay. He's got to call it as he sees it, and I can see how he would call it a punch if he didn't see the headbutt right behind it. But we thought it was a headbutt. 
And Cortez obviously feeling that it was the right hand first that landed in that spot that caused the cut. And Cortez has done dozens of championship fights. Definitely not a novice in the situation. Round six, good body punch for Morales. We see how the Pac-Man reacts to all the adversity. That's part of the game. The two fighters are wearing gloves called winning gloves as opposed to the Reyes gloves that Pacquiao wanted to use tonight. So there was real controversy about that. Those are the gloves that Morales prefers. And now Pacquiao turning it on. And getting hit with a jab. Freddie Roach was very critical of Pacquiao's promoter, Mirad Muhammad, in fact, for not being aware of that situation or not fighting for that situation beforehand. Morales being very patient, knows, knows he has time on his side, and just shooting a laser jab at the cut of Pacquiao. It's getting very bloody, wide open again. Well, we've had a lot of blood spilled in this arena tonight. How patient Morales is, though. Fighting well, scientifically. Uh, he's into it, well into it now. That Pacquiao's trying to unload. Eric steps out of it. Eventually, Morales will have to counter. Beautiful right hand. Counter. You saw it. There it was, the right hand. The right hand, and it came back with the left. There he goes on the road. Morales in control at the moment. Really bloody face for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, such an unfortunate turn of events for him to suffer that cut. Then have it ruled the way it was ruled. But just putting him in a position that he's really got to press. And Morales knows what to do with it. Pacquiao needs something dramatic to turn it around. He needs to land that straight left and deposit Morales in the seat of his pants the way he did Marquez. But with the granite chin Morales has, that's going to be a tough task. Another good jab for Morales. Still trying to work on that eye. Final seconds. Man, what a fight. Woo, it's a war in there, boys. Freddie Roach again trying to calm Manny Pacquiao, trying to calm the corner down. Here's the exchange in that last round. Pacquiao drove Morales back. Drove him into the ropes with it, but at long range, Morales with a good right hand, and that ended up hurting Pacquiao and sending him back. I've given the last three rounds to Morales, and I have him out in front of this fight. And I agree with you, Rich. And the momentum definitely seems to be going in his favor. Round seven scheduled for 12. Towel, towels all in the ring. Here we go. I tell you what, if you're a fight fan and you, don't, you didn't buy this fight, you're never going to forgive yourself. Here comes Pacquiao with a good right left. That's what he needed to change the direction as I thought. Those were hard punches. And those were punches that have knocked lesser fighters down. And Morales took them pretty well, although he fell them. Another good combination. Two jabs and a straight left for Pacquiao. So well, you, you've always got to respect power. Say, and Manny Pacquiao has that power. You're always in the fight when you have punching power. Exactly. Like that. <laughs> this is a good start, round seven for Pacquiao. Let it out this round, folks. Manny kicked it into another gear. Right hand for Morales. 
Pacquiao didn't like that one. He rubbed at his nose when he ate that leather. Well, he, if he keeps his head still, Morales would eat him up with that one-two combination. And beautiful attack to the body. Ten seconds coming up. What a round six for Pacquiao. This is Pacquiao's biggest round in the two fights with You're exactly right, Rich. Oh, and saved by the bell, and there's no pun intended there. Let's take a look at Pacquiao's big round, a huge round for Manny, and he did it with both hands. There you see the left and the follow-up right. Later on in the round, the straight left forced Morales to give ground. And then that right near the end of the round, Manny Pacquiao was in complete control. And actually, you said stayed by the bell, Mario. He was saved by Kenny Bayless when he ran into Bayless, the referee, from going down. He was going down. That's twice now, Rich. He's been saved either by the ropes or by the ref. Morales is a true champion. He will dig deep. And this fight just got extremely interesting. Round seven. You know, these fighters have touched gloves before every round. There's a great deal of I don't think going Manny here. Pacquiao has ever fought a better round in his career. He had everything working in that round. Everything. Not just power, but speed and combinations. And Eric Morales is going to have to find a way to counter that round with one of his own. But look at the speed of Pacquiao. A different fighter than the one we saw in the first fight, completely. No distractions, more organized corner, no promoter problems. Manny's digging in, and there comes Morales back over the top. Morales is making Manny go back. It is absolute pandemonium inside this arena. I don't think I've ever heard anything like what I'm hearing right now in this arena. This is a sheer out war. So much pride, so much at stake for these fighters. Countries behind them. Morales doing it in. Two great champions, two great warriors. Pacquiao now on the attack. It ebbs back and forth. These guys are invading into Castillo Corrales territory now. This is getting unwound. Well, we already have a candidate for fight of the year. Morales has been in many of these. Oh, time for me to contain the excitement. Like right. the first one against Marco Antonio Barrera. Pacquiao being dedicated to the body. This is just breathtaking. Left hand from Manny, but it didn't hurt. Manny's speed is impressive. Can't emphasize that enough. And Rich, to see a war like this with fighters of this caliber is so extremely rare. One minute left in a scorching hot round seven. Left hand jab, nice job. Pacquiao back with the combinations. with his hands inside when they're close. Manny Pacquiao, when he was 11 years old, living on the streets of Manila, trying to survive. So this is nothing to him. This is just fun. And the poorest of the poor to a man making over $2 million in first tonight. Against the man who was born in the gym, grew up in a gym, lived in a gym. And by the way, extremely poor area of Tijuana, <laughs> Mexico. Oh, my goodness. I believe another big round for Manny Pacquiao. Legs moving. Keep getting them angles. Eric looks a little worn down there. Morales does look a little worn down. Have to take a look. 
Again, that beautiful jab of the Morales in the last round. Coming to the fore, you see it again, the Pacquiao answering back with a little right uppercut that surprised Morales. I gave that round to Morales. Believe it or not. Well, I because I don't it. get a vote. I can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I, you were watching Alan, but... <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Round eight. Already round eight? These, these rounds are kind of being fought in sections, you know? One guy dominates for 30 seconds, and the next guy for 20, and the other guy for 15, and the other guy for so 40. Was, you know, it's, it's extremely difficult to score. It's ebb and flow. Morales going to the jab. Manny going to the jab and the combination. Manny's really impressed me with his jab tonight. That has been the big difference. The Manny jab, is, the body work, the hooks to the body. Right hand for Morales. There we go. Manny's speed counters. Pacquiao's added a few dimensions to his game thanks to Freddie Roach. Yes, he has, but that still may not be enough to beat Eric Morales. Because you can't take away that jab that Morales has. We're in the eighth round, and this is far from decided, folks. Morales' has great fights have been in fights where he's perceived as having a great challenge. Right hand for Pacquiao. And that hurt. Morales got hurt. You're right. I, 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 Oh, Morales is playing possum. He's playing possum. He's playing possum. He fooled us all, including Pacquiao. That was a scorching right hand Morales <laughs> through. Man, uh, that was a savvy, uh, crafty move. <laughs> Baiting him in. There's another dimension to talk about how crafty Morales can be. He just got tagged in the right hand. Let's see if he goes possum again. Countering again. Here we go. People believe what they're seeing around here. They're standing with mouths agape. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Artistry. I really thought Morales was hurt. And you know, if he is, he would never let you show. Don't play poker with this guy. <laughs> Manny Speed. Maybe winning this fight for him. He's putting two, three, four punches together. Morales' shots are coming one more, one at a time. Thirty seconds left in another hot round. And the combination's coming so fast and so often. It's amazing you can keep up the pace. Morales with a punch there again, but it's one punch. See, and Pacquiao answers back three, four, five shots at a time. Huge, huge punch by Pacquiao. Now Morales answers. Final ten seconds. You'll never get a better show, folks. It's not possible. This is as good as it gets. You gotta love both of them. Quit jumping into the punches. Be a little calm. Calm down a little bit there. Tell me Morales in his corner. As we take a look at the action from the last round, and it was red hot, but there's that big right hand. When Morales fooled everybody into thinking he was hurt, and he unleashed those two rights and drove Pacquiao off of him. What a shock that was, because it really appeared as though Morales was in deep trouble. Then Pacquiao answers with big punches on his own. Freddie Roach, by the way, also had to tell some of the people in his corner there to calm down, which was reminiscent of last year. The anxiety has to be going on in Freddie Roach's corner. This is an emotional fight, Alan. The emotion is unbelievable. Round nine. I don't know if someone had a heart attack or something, but I wouldn't be surprised. There's a commotion up in the stands. They're trying to get some help for somebody, but that's but these two fighters don't have any help. It's up to each individual. That's what it makes this such a great sport. Nobody but you. Round nine. 
I may have a seizure before it's over with. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. She's draining. She sure is, but you know what? We're in the ninth round. History being made tonight. I can watch these guys fight all night. They might. was an interesting punch by Pacquiao. He leaned to the right and threw that uh, he left He threw hand. a lead left hand. You don't see that. He's making it up as he goes. He's improvising in his fights. Well, he has had more in his repertoire tonight. There's no question than he did a year ago. Well, he knew he was going to need it if he had a chance against Eric Morales. Pacquiao abandoning the body attack a little bit, that which was working so well for him. And at the same token, Up Morales cut. abandoning the that. jab. That one hurt Pacquiao. Pacquiao relaxed for some reason and stopped punching, and Morales took advantage of it. <laughs> that lead left. Take your pick. Nice left hooks, right hooks with Manny. And he's, he's taking Freddie Roach's advice and answering with a lot of hooks. Coming up with a lot of big hooks. Which, of course, is a punch that hurt Morales in the earlier rounds. Morales, one tough hombre. Oh. Did you ever think it would be Manny Pacquiao with the better combinations? I didn't. He's surprising a lot of people. Uh, Inside 30 seconds, round nine. Well, he had to improve. He did. How much more of that can Morales take? He's got great willpower, but Pacquiao has great power. Morales taking a breather. Could fatigue be setting in? You put some pressure on him. You know what? Pocket good. 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 You know Get what? We go. We go. We go. We go. Okay. Okay. You know what's up? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are Give him some water. Eric asking for more water. They're asking, are you tired? Are you tired? He says, no, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. Morales in the early portion of the round pushing forward. That's when Pacquiao, I mentioned, stopped punching for some reason, and he got tagged by Morales. But at the end of the round, it was all Pacquiao all of a sudden. And a beautiful crisp left hand. Pacquiao showing movement, showing different combinations, showing some angles. And I'll tell you what, both fighters looked a little winded in the corner, but you can't blame them. Pacquiao working a double jab. Round 10, we're down to the nitty gritty of this fight. Three rounds to go. A new and improved Manny Pacquiao. But will it be enough to beat Eric Hilton and Morales? You know, the thing is, in the corner, Morales seemed to be the most calm presence in the entire arena here. I think he probably understands what's going on in there. He's trying to figure out a way to stem this tide if he can. If there's anybody that can figure it out, it's Morales. That's another one of those intangibles you talk about. He has a great mind for the sport. Both of these fighters are intelligent fighters. Executing their game plans is another thing. And oh, vicious body attack by Pacquiao. Morales was getting away from a lot of those punches. He did a good job. The crowd is very excited, of course. We see, but Manny is throwing punches and bunches. And the judges like active fighters. <laughs> Morales does look to be wearing down, but every time I think... ...excited, of course, 
We see, but Manny is throwing punches and bunches. And the judges like active fighters. Morales does look to be wearing down, but every time I think that, then he surprises me. Answers with hard combinations. It would take two or three minutes to run down the list of all the fighters he's taken on in his career, and you have to wonder at some point, at some point, does he actually start wearing down? Alan, you make an excellent point, because he's fought so many hard fights against so many elite fighters, and never really shown worn for wear. I think he's in a bit of a... Oh, oh, oh! oh. And we thought Morales was going down. Oh, and he does go down! He does go down! Picking up the count at eight. Okay! Morales, the heart of the champion, not giving up. Just over a half minute to go. Plenty of time for Pacquiao if he can find the right cover. Oh, and a beautiful combination. Down goes Morales. Oh, oh, oh the fight out. is over. Will Eric Pacquiao has won. Eric oh, my Pacquiao God. has beaten Eric Morales. Stoppage, Eric Morales. Is absolutely deafening in here. Absolute bedlam in here, and you can hear it all the way to the South Pacific. Manny Pacquiao has become the fighter that he needed to be to reach the top. They're gonna do it again, Rich. They're gonna do it again. Are you all right, Rich? An amazing fight. I think I'll sit down. <laughs> Rich just collapsed into his chair. There's the happy winner. He deserved it. He deserved this victory tonight. I'd like to see the cards where it stood. I had, at the time the fight, after nine rounds, I had Pacquiao ahead 87-84 by three points. And seemingly pulling away. I had given him the last three rounds. They're still well. looking at uh, Eric over here. As we mentioned, we thought Eric was wearing down. And Pacquiao just unloaded. Big shots. There's that left to the side of the head that finally dropped Morales. Pacquiao coming forward. Tremendous shot. Great power that Manny has. He always had that power. But as you can see in this fight, Alan, this is a guy who became more than just a powerful fighter. Here's the end of the fight. Kenny Bayless doesn't bother to count. He calls it off. He became a complete fighter. That's And that's what it's all about. After, a, a year ago, he was predictable in his fight. He threw some hard punches. He made it close, but he wasn't at his best. He needed to improve, and he did. He needed more than what he was bringing into the ring to be the champion of Eric Morales' caliber. He caught Marco Antonio Barrera on a bad night when Marco didn't know what he was in for. Now the whole world knows what they're in for. And the king of the 130-pound division is Manny Pacquiao. And he's a handful. And he's a handful when he's got all those weapons he brought in tonight. I mean, the beautiful jab, the speed combinations. The, he knew what he was doing. Freddie Roach has done a great job with this fighter. He's taken a raw, pure power talent and turned him into a fighter, and albeit even a boxer when he has to be. Well, he had a guy who not only had the power, but as you mentioned so many times during the course of the telecast tonight, Alan, the speed. So he had that God-given gift. And when you can hone both of those aspects, then you've got something special. Here's Michael Buffer. Penny Bayless. Steps in and calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 10. The winner by TKO victory, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. He's trainer, and he's very happy up there. Even now, though, he's very calm. <laughs> Early in the fight. 
It was impossible to tell who was going to win this fight because both men were having their moments. And it was clear, as you could see, that both men wanted to fight. As it went into round number two, Pacquiao trying to come forward, but Morales exhibiting the power and showing the left, the left jab that was able to set up Pacquiao for some of his power shots. Still, Pacquiao landed an early indicator as to what might happen with that left that staggered Morales badly. Now, as we take a look, sixth round, this is when I feel the fight turned around. I never gave Morales another round after this. I gave Pacquiao the last four rounds. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And as you can see, Pacquiao was using that speed. Morales would answer back sporadically, as you're seeing him do here. But his flurries were coming fewer and more far between. And then the thrilling conclusion to the fight, Pacquiao with that left hand sending Morales down only the second time in his career, the only man beside Barrera to put him down, and Pacquiao went in to prove himself a finisher, and he did it. He finished off Eric Morales. Okay, let's go to Mario with the toughest 130-pounder in the world right now. Manny, congratulations, incredible fight here. What was different about you this fight than the, the previous the, fight? The uh, previous fight. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the difference, I'm, I knocked him out and I won the fight. And also, uh, the difference is I'm, I, I'm training hard this fight and, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm careful to his head. What was the difference in this fight as far as the power? Did he ever hurt you? Did he ever feel that you were in trouble at any point? Uh, he hurt me that uh, in how many times, but, you know, I can take his power, so... I, I'm lucky to survive that uh, that, that one. <laughs> you showed a, a huge arsenal of different punches. You had lead right hands. You were working the body. So the training with Freddie Roach really paid off. Oh yeah. Also the the right hand is improvement. My right hand is improvement. So I need to uh, more improvement on my right hand. So uh, I'm, I'm a very good boxer. And how how about using the Reyes gloves? Do you think they were a huge factor in the fight tonight? Oh, that's a uh, very effective. That uh, using the, my gloves or uh, Reyes as because. That, that's my gloves. Now there's a rematch clause, Manny. Do you think you'd like to fight him for the rubber match? Oh yeah, I like that. I, I, I want to rematch, you know, anytime, anywhere, but if, if you want. So. In, and, and if not Morales, who would you like to fight next? Oh, Barrera wants to rematch me, so anytime I'm open. I'm a fighter, so I fight in the ring. So Barrera, Morales, possibly even Juan Manuel Marquez. Oh yeah, yeah. If he moves in 130 pounds. Manny, congratulations. Excellent fight tonight. Thanks, thanks. Thank you very much to all of you and to all, the, to all my fans, especially the American people and Mexican people and Filipino people all over the world who love boxing. Thank you very much to all of you guys. Great job, Manny. Your, your English has gone very well. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I got all that. Uh,